What's up, fellow vapers? Scott with the Vaping Budget here today and enjoying this nice, sunshiny day in Scottville. I'm bringing you guys my review and build on my KFUN Clone 3.1 ES I got from Fast Tech. This bad boy was only $15.52. And you know what? Now I get the name. It's K. It's fun. This thing is. Welcome back! Woohoo! All right, I can't wait to show you guys this K Front. It is a blast to build, to vape, to set up. And I've I've had this for a couple weeks now. I wanted to make sure that I could do a good build for you guys, an easy build. Hopefully, you can you can go grab one of these, watch this video, and know how to set this up and vape it good. There is some tricks to it, some do's and don'ts. I'll get into that in the close up. Um, but you know what? I'm having such a blast doing these videos for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying them. I hope they're uh, helpful to you guys, intuitive, um, especially with the e-juice reviews that I do. You know, they are subject to taste. I like different things than everybody else out there, but hopefully it gives you some insight on products that are out there, e-juices that are out there, and uh, hopefully help you guys do your builds. So if you like building coils or like tinkering, this is the tank for you, baby. Even if you haven't built a coil yet, this is easy to set up, easy to build on, and the flavor out of this thing is awesome. So let's dive down. I'll show you all the parts and ins and outs of this bad boy, all the stuff that it comes with. came with a great bag of uh, gaskets and I mean, plenty of parts for this thing to last forever. But let's dive down. I'll show you what comes with it and do a build on this bad boy, and then we'll give it a vape. All right, hopefully we're not too shiny here for you guys. I'm trying to get my lighting in. It looks like we're pretty good, though. But uh, this comes in uh, polished, brushed, different colors, black. You can get these in, I think, just about any color you like. But uh, I like the silver because it went with the shiny because it goes very well with my Carvella. Moving stuff all over here. But uh, all righty, let's dive in and show you all the parts of this bad boy, get a build on it, and show you guys how to set this up. So it comes with uh, the drip tip on the top is threaded, so it's you know it's, it is proprietary. You have to use this uh, drip tip with it. it. Does have a nice seal on there. Everything seals up very well. Everything's threaded here. Threads are very tight, very smooth. Very happy with the setup of this. And then you have your top here. Check this in the frame. Another seal again. Seals up very nice, very tight. And then you have your sections here. This is your middle section. And then here's the bottom. Now this middle section, it does come with, I'll show you in just a second, it comes with uh, a polycarbonate section you can put in there so you can see the level of your juice. And there's just another in there. And this is your coil, cone, cap, cover, whatever you want to call it. It does have two sections to it. Like I said, you can get parts for this to extend your uh, tank capacity. You know, I'm sure there's another piece that goes with this to do that. But and so look at the threads on that. Very easy, very nice threading on there for 15 bucks. You know, I, I'm impressed. So uh, this is your deck. If I can just come through, there you go. There's your air hole there, but you control it from the screw on the side. We'll get into that in just a minute. All the threading in here is nice, even with the screws on your deck are very nice, the side screws are good. Alrighty, so that's comes on the tank. Now for the bag of goodies that you get. There's tons of stuff here. Now this is the polycarbonate section that goes in here. Phone's going off. Probably more comments from you guys. Love it. This is where that section goes in there. I mean, I'm just going to show you guys real quick here. Let me get your center that goes in there. Ooh, let me get that in the frame. Let 
So that's how it is with that polycarbonate section in there. I like the stainless look of it because I do vape it on my Carvel. It's all stainless. It's just kind of personal preference there. But well, that's what it looks like with that uh, polycarbonate section in there. It's nice. You have that if you're, you know, if you have that, you can use. Or if you vape um, an e-juice that's a taint cracker, you can change it out and use the stainless that comes with it. All right. And it comes with this little bag of goodies here. Comes with a uh, little screwdriver there, bunch of I mean, look at a bunch of O-rings here. Comes with it. Uh, cup one coil already made. Actually, two. There's another one in here. It is silica, so you know I'll just probably give these to somebody else. A little bit of silica wick there. But look at all these O-rings that it comes with. So you know, like I said, we got plenty of these to use. Um, this tank's gonna last a long time, and if uh, one of the gaskets wears out, you'll have plenty of them with this kit. And look at that for 15 bucks. Can't beat it. All righty. Let's get to building this beast. Woo. <laughs> I'm excited to show you guys this. It's so fun. So awesome. All right. I'll be building a coil. This is a two millimeter micro screwdriver that I'm going to be building this on. Uh, 28 gauge canthal. We're going to do eight wraps on here and hopefully we can get around 1.5 ohms. So we can vape this bad boy on any of our mods. So alrighty, start out with wrapping your coil here. Just leave, you know, half inch, inch out here of wire. And then just start wrapping them tightly. There's one, there's two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. For these coils, you don't want them together. You want them opposite, just like, just like that. See how you want them positive and negative going opposite directions. There. It's all right. Now just pull it off. I like to clamp these like such. You see that? Let's see if I get this position here so you can see it. Yeah, it's like that. So I got my, my positive and negative coming out off the back here, just like there we go. See that? I'm not clamping these down, just on the halfway up the coil. I've got a clamp there. Then we'll trim so they're end off. Now you want to leave about a half inch. Three quarters of an inch on each side here. All right, let's give it a torch. Got a little micro torch here. This works really well for getting in the video for you guys. <laughs> Almost burnt the cord on going to my camera here. But I always heat up the wires a little bit. All right, looks like it should be good there. All right, looks good. All right, just go ahead and slide your coil back on the screwdriver there. Now your wires here, I hopefully I can get this. If not, I can definitely show you when I get it on the deck here. You want your wires kind of bent out. Like that. Alright, I got it up on top of my VTR here. So I get up a little bit more. I like to build on this. It's heavy, holds it in place for me. And we'll just uh loosen these up a little. There. And then you want to place your coil. I got one wire it's on one side, one's on the other. That's kind of how we're going here with this. Place it on. I place the coil all the way to one side. On the opposite side, I'm tightening down at first. Just bend that wire around like that. And I'm going to show you why I do this in just a second. I like to dig in it pretty tight on the first one there. Now, see how we're over towards this side here? We got a gap over here. You want to lift the coil up. I'm going to show you how far once I get this other one tight. Bend the wire around and tighten this one down. Alright. 
That's what you want. That's how high up you want that coil. Now you can build this on a one millimeter screwdriver, however, whatever size you want, but you need to have that coil up about three thirty seconds from your deck. So if you need to, you can just take your screwdriver, pry it up just a little. All right, we are good, just like that. Oops, let me get this back in the frame. So now that we got this coil up from the deck, about there, right straight above the air hole, the air intake, right there. That's where your, the airflow comes through. Let's snip the wires off here. Clean it straight. Oops, slip this off and we just try to make sure that coil is straight. Alright, we're going to check our ohms now. 1.4. Perfect. That'll work out great. We should get it up a little bit once we heat this up. Now, I always like to check and make sure my coil is glowing from the inside out. So we'll go ahead and hit it with some power here. We, ain't, we don't have that yet. But what I do is I hit the fire button. Get it hot, let off, crimp the coil together with my tweezers. You can get ceramic tweezers, so you don't have to worry about touching. If in case you do fire it, you're going to short it out. But that's why I like using my VTR because it does have the short circuit protection in there. And it shows good my ohms. See, we're at 1.5 now. Absolutely perfect. That's going to, we'll be able to use this tank on our uh, VAMO. Of my MVP, just a regular twist battery. We're getting nice glow in there. We're just going to crimp it just a little more, a couple of times. Ooh, look at that inside out, very nicely. See that? Check our ohms one more time. 1.5. <laughs> Perfect. And that was with a two millimeter micro screwdriver. Where's my cotton? Where's my cotton? I'm going to put the light back on here for you guys. Show you really good. There's our coil going from the inside out. Yeah. Now don't burn yourself. Oh, wait. I have burnt my fingers several times. Don't do that. Have some patience. Let it cool down. Grab your cotton. I'm going to move that out of the way, kind of show you what I'm grabbing here. It's really hard to show you guys how much I'm grabbing, but you know, you're just going to have to tinker with it and uh, see what works best for you. I like to grab a nice bundle here. I mean, to show you the density of it, it's kind of hard. I definitely like to roll it a little bit. That's with some light rolling. That's kind of what I got here. And then just twist on in. When you thread this, you know, my rule of thumb is if if you're pulling your cotton through and that coil's moving, see that coil moving? That's too much. Too much cotton. Just come in and you know, peel a little bit off. Retwist your end. So you don't, when you're pulling it through there, you shouldn't be tugging on that coil. Should be snug. See that how it's tight, but I'm not. See that I'm not. That coil's not moving. That's good rule of thumb uh, when you're wicking anything. All right, now you're gonna want this cotton. This is very important. You, I've ran it. I ran the cotton down these channels here. Let me turn the slide off again. <clears throat> All right, now I ran this cotton down these channels here and even down to this point all you're going to do is pinch that cotton there you're not going to get any good wicking so you want your cotton ran right right to the bottom of the deck there just to right there right you want your cotton ran just to the bottom of the deck here just to there so just drapes it over the side Alright, so I just pull the cotton down, put this on that little deck right there, snip it, 
there's a and there we go so that is really that's good there just like that kind of manipulate there you don't want it going down past where the threads are at on here just to the edge of the just to the edge of that deck right there very nice you see how it's just going to here it's not going past the threads you don't want to go down in them channels there that's to wick your juice up that channel right there okay <clears throat> All right, I'm going to fill this bad boy up with a black honey tobacco from Smooth Liquid. 100 mils of this stuff, baby. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so just go ahead and wick your cotton there. I know this isn't the best of focus here with the lighting that I have. Let's see. All right, now just go ahead and wick. Wick your cotton. Sorry, the lighting going back and forth. I'm just trying to get it right in here so you guys can see really good. And you definitely, if you change your change your uh, e juice out, change a different flavor, or put new cotton in here. Make sure you wick your cotton. All righty, we got it all wicked up here, ready to go. There's a spot right there in this. There we go. Okay, we got it wicked up. Now all you got to do to put this bad boy back together is take this cone. And make sure just tuck your cotton just right there. The other side, just kind of tuck your cotton up in there. And your e juice, your juice is going to flow up through this channel here and up to your cotton. You go down past that, you're going to pinch that cotton off, and it's not going to, you're going to get some burnt hits. So, all you got to do is take, put this cap on. Get all our pieces over here. All right, and then we take one of the rings that are threaded on the inside. Put it on there. Now, if you wanted to use a polycarbonate tank so you can see your juice, use that one. I'm using the stainless one. I mean, look how easy these threads go together. All right, and I got a little stand here, so I'll show you guys. Now, all right, you can put this cap on here, and you can fill it. You got your fill hole here, and then your air hole here. Okay, your air hole adjustment is going to be straight in. Your fill is going to be at an angle. See how that one's at an angle, and the other one straight down in there. You wouldn't tighten it all the way down. Now, you can take this screw out. And fill it from here. Just hold your tank here, take your, your dripper and hold it in like this. I don't like to do that. I got this baby tightened all the way down. How I fill my tank is I just take this top thread off just like that. You're not going to get, make sure that this coil cover is tightened down, nice and snug down against the bottom there. And then when you unscrew this, you can just fill it up through the top. Now there's a seal up in there, right in the edge there, that seals up against this spout so you don't drip any out. And then I just take it and fill it up. Now your first couple times in filling this tank and with your cotton placement, I would only put like a milliliter in here or so, and so you can try it and make sure it vapes okay for you and your cotton's not down in them threads or blocking that channel. And if it vapes good, then go ahead and take the cap back off and fill it all the way up, just in case you need to, to, to take this back apart and uh, move your cotton around or adjust your coil or whatever. But after you've got a few builds on it, go ahead and fill it up. Now I fill it up. <clears throat> to the bottom of the threads there. You can go all the way up with the sucker and not worry about it. See there. 
Alrighty. So now to adjust airflow, now just remember it's the one going straight into the tank, straight into the middle here, that one there. That's your fill hole. I'd made the mistake loosen this one up and had the e-juice run out. But now your airflow goes through the side right here and you adjust it with that screw. So I like mine out quite a bit. So just make sure at least loosen this up, take it all the way out and put it back in so you know how far you can pull this out so you don't lose that. So you don't loosen up too much and it ends up falling out. I like to have at least a few threads in there holding it on there. Alrighty, let's come up and give this bad boy a vape. Alrighty, we're back up, baby. We got it built. Woohoo! Wasn't that fun? I love this tank. I love to tinker with my stuff. You know, I didn't just quit smoking. I gained a fun hobby. I've got it on my uh, Carvella here. I mean, look how cool that looks. I was at a barbecue the other day vaping on this, you know, and everybody's like, you know, that looks like you're sucking on a something else that takes batteries. I'm going to keep it G rated, but <laughs> you know what I mean? But it looks cool to a vapor. This is awesome. To somebody else, they're like, they don't understand. They don't get it, but we vapors get it for sure. All right, let's give it a vape. See what we think. Now your first couple vapes off of this, you're, you might get a little bit of gurgling on your first couple vapes because we did, you know, we did soak that wick really good and got it nice and wet. So you might get a little bit of gurgling that, that dropped down into that air hole. Um, and I'll show you how to fix that in just a minute. But let's see if we got any gurgling in there and give it a vape see what we think. Look at that, baby. 1.6 ohms. We can vape this on an NVP, VTR. Of course, a VTR, you can go down to 0.9. Uh, Vamo, any, any battery will vape this bad boy at 1.6, I think. Don't hold me to it, but I think you can vape this at 1.6 on just about any. So. Look at that. The flavor out of this is amazing. If I get better flavor out of this than I do any other tank that I have. Nice cloud, nice dense cloud. Now let's vape this bad boy. Let's put this bad boy on my Vamo. Crank it up to 15 watts. Let's see how she vapes on that. Crank this up to 15 watts. Give her a vape. Nice cloud out of that one. Watch this. Four watts. That was it, four watts, baby. <laughs> this thing vapes so nice. The flavor out of it's great. I had to put my screwdrivers up. Let me grab one out real quick. Let me show you what to do to get a little bit of gurgling out of this. Just take, to get a little bit of gurgling, just take your air hole screw, loosen it all the way up, and just blow slightly. And then tighten it back up to where you want it. You can adjust it tight draw. That's where I like it, right there. Now watch. Gurgling's gone. So just loosen that up all the way. Slight little blow in it just a little bit. And that'll take care of your gurgling in that. Oh man, the vapor out of this bad boy and the flavor you get out of this thing to me is unmatched by any other tank that I have found. Um, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you were just looking at one or maybe wanting to get one but didn't know how to build on it, 
didn't know how to set one up hopefully this helps you out just keep your cotton up on that deck a little bit um, kind of down by them channels and it'll wick great for you guys you won't get any burnt hits and uh, have fun vaping with this it is great big tank capacity you can put a lot of e-juice in there now you can you can fill it up by that little screw hole in the bottom but the easiest way I found is just take this top if I can get a hold of it take this top off just like that and just fill it up through there I found that's the easiest thing to do and when you do that reach in there and make sure you tighten that stem down make sure it's still tight down against your deck and that'll help you from getting I um, mean gurgling down in there so just screw it back on and happy vaping so thank you so much for watching have an awesome day and don't forget to watch my videos on my giveaways because those are going right now and I'm gonna have some more and I got one coming up in the works is gonna be huge for you guys so have an awesome day and I'll be thinking about you when I'm vaping